I think Mega Pokemon is one of the coolest features that Pokemon has ever added to the game. Unfortunately, there's a ton of amazing Pokemon that never actually got a Mega form. So today, we're gonna check out what it would be like if every single starter got its own Mega form. All right, we got a Charmander, which evolves, of course, into a Charmeleon, and then, of course, into a Charizard. Now, I don't know if this, I think that this video shows it's gonna be X, okay. So it's gonna show us Mega X, probably then Mega Y, but stay tuned, because, okay, there's the Mega Y, but wait for it, boys, wait for it, here comes a custom Mega right here. Yo, look at them toes. Look at them wings! Oh my gosh, and look at that head. Here is Mega Charizard Z. Fire and Psychic, yo! That thing looks epic. That's definitely my favorite Charizard Mega. If I had to pick one of the three, that one is definitely the coolest. It kind of looks like Charizard X with a different color pattern though. A little bit different. But here we go, we all know Mega Venusaur already is a Pokemon, but what if it had an alternative Mega form? We're about to find out. So there's Mega Y. Let's see what Mega X is going to be. The Mega Xs are normally physical attackers. Yo! Oh my gosh! Wait, this is insane. That's definitely a physical attacking Mega Venusaur X, Grass and Ghost type. Oh my gosh, that is so epic! Yo! It almost looked like- wait! They're making a Z-form too? Oh my gosh, I did not know that they were making X, Y, and Z-forms for every single Mega. Bro, is that grass and ice? Yo! That one is super cool too. I think that I like the grass and ghost one the most though. Um, yeah, dude, that one on the left is so sick. Oh my gosh, bro. That is amazing. Okay, so of course we have Squirtle, War Turtle, Blastoise, and Mega Blastoise. I think that when they make the Mega Blastoise X or Y, they're probably, if I had to guess, gonna make it rock. For some reason, I feel like turtles look great as rock and water Pokemon. Oh, maybe not. Fairy? Is it gonna be fairy? It's gonna be water fairy for sure. Okay, that is... Okay, I don't know. I don't know if I like that one. I don't know if I like that one. I don't know. Dude, that is some lovey-dovey stuff, dude. It's got hearts as the... as the blasters. I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess. I don't know if it's my favorite, though. Uh, okay, yeah, this looks like what I was thinking about. It looks like he's got rocks as his shell. He's a boulder. That has to be, yep, water and rock type. Not the best typing ever, but still pretty freaking epic. If you get a shell smash on that thing, give it stone edge. Oh my gosh, bro, that thing would be gnarly. I definitely like the Mega Z the most there. And if you guys disagree with me with any of my favorites, Definitely comment down below which Mega Evolution is your favorite. But here we have Totodile, Crocodile, for Alligator, and Mega for Alligator. I want one of these so bad. I've always wanted a Mega for Alligator. He is such a cool Pokemon, and I think Mega Form would be sick. Yo! Water Dragon? Water Fighting. Yeah, Water Fighting! Yo, that is so cool! Oh my, that might be my favorite Mega of any of them. My favorite part about this video too, is we're getting to see three different versions of every single one of these Pokemon. This is so sick. Okay, wait, I'm gonna try to guess what each of these are. That has to be water. I don't even know. It kind of just looks like straight up water, honestly. It didn't really change. It definitely changed a lot, but it still has like the same base. Maybe water dragon. I guess that's my guess. Water dragon or water. I'm so good at this! I knew it, dude! I thought- well, every other one was dual typing, so that's why I went Water Dragon in the end, but I did say it kind of looks like still straight up water. Okay, this one... So far, maybe Water Ice? I don't know. Wait, this looks- This also looks like it would just be normal water, but there's no way that they would do both normal water back to back. I guess I'm gonna go Water Ice? Water Dragon. 
I mean, I guess I see it. I think that they probably could have done a better job making him look more dragon, though. For these, though, my favorite is probably the fighting one, the Mega X. That one is so sick, and I love the water and fighting type. Oh, I forgot about Typhlosion, Mega Typhlosion, bro. Oh my gosh, Cyndaquil, Quilava, Typhlosion. And here we have Mega Type. Oh, Fire and Rock? Maybe the most doo-doo combo of all time, but it makes some epic looking Pokemon. Yes, sir. Mega X, bro. Mega Typhlosion X. That is crazy. I hope that they make like a water fire one. That'd be cool. I don't know how they would do that. Ooh, they got some clouds. What is this? That's got, yeah, I, I, I tried to pause and I couldn't. I was gonna guess fire. I swear on my mama, I was gonna guess straight, straight up fire still. Okay, the Mega X, or the Mega Y is straight up fire. This one. Let's go dark. I'm feeling dark. What, is this gonna be like double fire? What is this? What type is that? I, fighting, yep. Oh, I could tell by the pose. He did like a Jackie Chan pose. Or a Hitmonlee pose, almost. Okay, I want to see some dark types, though. I want to see what would happen if you added dark type to these Megas. Oh, wait, the metal one is dark. I swear that they listed it as straight up fire before. Oh, well. I don't, I guess it's kind of dark. Wait, they're doing another one? Wait, I'm confused. Did I go back in time? Oh, no. Wait, the video just messed up. Oh! It's look, it's big adium. It's grass and fire. Yo! That one is wild, bro. Wait. Oh, it's grass and ground. I thought that those were flames. That is still epic though. I really, really, really like this one. It really brings out like the dinosaur E in the meganium. It looks a lot more dinosaur now. That's crazy, bro. Let's go. But we still get two more. I don't know how they're gonna top that. Ooh, what is this gonna be? Grass and fairy? Grass and fairy? I don't know. No, that's gotta be, that's still just grass. Surely this is still just grass. Yeah, okay. I am so good at guessing these. Let's go. That one's all right. That one's all right. I wish like it showed us like its stats and its ability and stuff. Because I, I would just really be curious to see how good it would be in battle. This one again seems like just grass to me, but there's no way that they would make two of them just grass. This, if I had to guess, I, it, maybe it has like kind of wing. It has like one wing, grass and flying. I don't know, grass and flying. Oh, I'm crazy. Let's go. I don't really see it that much. I mean, there's kind of a wing popping out of it, but I don't think that would be enough to make it fly. I definitely like the Mega X the most, the one on the left. That one's crazy. I would go left, right, middle. But let's see what else we got. We now are moving on to generation three, where these already do have mega forms, but we're gonna get to see two extra custom mega forms in this video. This is gonna be epic, dude. Let's go. I think Mega Swampert, like the real Mega Swampert, looks really, really cool. That's my favorite mega out of these three. But let's see what these ones turn into. Oh, Grass Ghost? Grass poison! Yeah, that's gotta be grass poison. Yo! Okay, okay, okay. I see you. I see you, Sceptile. That's pretty sick. There's a lot of grass poison Pokemon. That's a pretty common uh, double to do, or I guess typing to have. What is this? Grass and... Grass and grass? I'm gonna go with just grass on this one. Grass fighting. Okay, I, I guess I missed that one, but I don't know. I don't really see the fighting too much in it. It does have like little um, tape around its biceps, which is kind of a fighting thing to have. I think like the, the Hitmons have those. Maybe, I don't know. But all right, let's see some alternate Blaziken Mega Forms. This is going to be sick. Mega Blaziken does have the ability Speed Boost, which makes it, like, insanely, insanely strong. 
So if these other two Megas also got speed boost, they would probably also be incredibly strong. Yo! Oh, this can be fire flying, I think. It looks like it just grew wings. Yo! Okay, okay. That is tough. That one's cool. I like that one more than his main one. Or his original one. But let's see. Okay, I want to do something different. Can you do, like, fire steel? Ooh, fire psychic. It's got to be fire psychic. Has to be. Whenever you toss in a little bit of pink and, like, just random stuff, it has to be psychic. Yep. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Honestly, that one is mid. I like the one with the wings the most. And then, like, his original one and then that one, I think. Yeah. I'm going to go left, middle, right in order in that order that one on the left is so cool mega x bro okay please give me a steel and water swamper like if, man imagine they put like steel battle armor on them bro it's over that's ggs mega swamper already is so sick but come on give me a steel type water steel type please put battle armor on them water ice that just makes him so much worse. But he's probably going to look really cool. Let's see. Uh, okay, okay, I see it. He's got a really cool mohawk. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty dope. But water ice is just not a good typing. So that is... That kind of makes him a lot worse. When you look at it from a competitive way. And I don't think I'm getting that... Steel water. Oh wait, maybe... Is that steel? I'm going steel water, right? This has to be steel water. It has to be. Come on, give me steel water. I asked for one thing, bro. I asked for one thing. It's for steel water. I'm telling you, if they made a steel water mega Swampert, that'd be insane. Honestly, I think I like Swampert's original form the most. Am I crazy for that? I don't know. But here we go. Let's move on to generation four. Here we have a church big. You know, I actually really like Turtwig, Grottle, and Torterra. That's my favorite Gen 4 starter. Torterra's not a great Pokemon competitively, but I've always liked it. I thought he always looked really cool. So, hopefully he gets some amazing custom Mega Form. So far, this is looking gnarly. That's gotta be Grass Steel. Give me Grass Steel. Give me Grass Steel. Yes! Yes! W! That is a W. That thing is sick! Oh my gosh, let's go! That is one of my favorites so far. Okay, this is gonna be Grass Rock. Has to be Grass Rock. I think that this form looks really cool, but- Oh! Oh, wait, no, it's still Grass Ground! Yes, dude, yes! That is so sick! It has, like, a an emerald on its crown thing, too. That is super cool. That is so dope. Let's go. Why are these not in the game, man? If these were in the game, that'd be so sweet. All right, let's see this last one. So far, I'm getting Grass Dark. Oh, yeah, Grass Dark vibes. Has to be Grass Dark. Grass Dragon? Really? Wow. I... Hmm. I'm not sure I'm getting the Grass Dragon vibes. Ooh. The left and middle one do look very similar to me. I think I like the left one the... Nah, no, I'm gonna go middle, left, right. I don't really see the Grass Dragon on the right, honestly. I can't say I agree with that one. Here we go. Let's see what an Infernape Mega would look like. Let's go, dude. Chimchar, Monferno, Infernape, and... Ooh, okay, this has to be Fire Psychic. This guy loves making Fire Psychic Megas. Ooh, I actually like this one, though. This one's pretty cool. And okay, this one looks like Alakazam. Like, the with the pose, if his other leg was up, too, and he was, like, crisscross applesauce, that would literally be copying Alakazam. Let's see, though. Oh, so far, I think that this still might just be fire. Well, I guess he's firefighting. Maybe it takes away his... his. Oh, no, no, it's definitely firefighting still. Yeah. That one is sick. I like this one a lot. That one's my favorite so far of the two. I like how his flames turn blue because that's how you know they're, like, super, super strong flames. Ooh. Water? Fire water? Has to be. It looks like he had gills on him. 
Look. Yes, dude. That's for sure fire water. He's got like gills on his belly or fins on his belly. Bro. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that one. I do still think though that the, uh, the middle one, the mega X and Y middle one's my favorite. I'm going to go middle, right, left. I don't really like the fire psychic ones. And he's done that a couple of times now. I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of those. But here we go. Here we have Piplup, Primplup, and Empoleon. This I have really, really big expectations for. I really like water steel Pokemon, or I guess steel Pokemon in general. Oh, it looks like he's taking away the steel, though. I think he's going water ice. Stop making them water ice, bro! I mean, it looks cool. It looks like a club penguin penguin, almost. No, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that design is cool. I just wanna see a little bit more diversity with the actual typings. Give me water steel. I know he already is water steel, but just give me like an epic form of him. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. That is what I'm talking about. Yes, dude, W, W, that is sick. Okay, now let's get funky. Let's get spicy. Let's get spicy. Let's go water electric. Imagine. Imagine water electric, bro. There's no way he does water electric, though. I, is this just straight water? Oh! No way I guessed that! No way! Oh my god! No way I guessed that, bro! What? Yo, I'm actually crazy for that, and I love it! That is sick! I love how fat he is! I love the electricity! Bro, I actually can't believe I guessed that! That's crazy! Okay, my favorites, though, I'm gonna go the water steel, water electric, then the water ice type. Here we have a Charizard, which obviously it, there is a Charizard X and a Charizard Y already. But I believe we're gonna find out what a Charizard Z might look like. Let's check it out. Yo, fire dark. Okay, okay. That's like the Houndoom typing. There's a couple of fire dark Pokemon in Cinderor. That is pretty epic. But here we have a regular Mega Blastoise. Let's see what the X is. I hope it's gonna be Water Steel, please. Oh, Water Fairy, yo. I think I might have seen that before. I actually think that's pretty cool now. Yo, Water and Rock. Okay, it's back as like an entire mountain. All right, and now we got Caterpie. Butterfree doesn't have the Mega, it has a Gigantamax. So let's see what Mega Butterfree looks like. Yo, Bug Steel. That is so cool! It's almost like a futuristic Butterfree. I love it. Ooh, bug flying still? Okay, that's pretty cool. It's not telling us the ability. That would be really cool if it told us the ability. Beedrill already does have a Mega, so we're gonna see the regular Mega Beedrill. Oh, wait! That is not the- that, 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 that's Beedrill X! That is so sick! It kind of looks like Bug Electric to me. And here is the regular Mega Beedrill. That is so cool. With the adaptability ability, it's actually a very strong Pokemon. Pidgeot already has a Mega as well, but after Pidgeot, I'm pretty sure like every single Pokemon is going to be unique. And check this out, flying in dark, those wings look like Talonflame wings. Kind of like Umbreon-y as well. And here's the regular Mega uh, Pidgeot. Honestly, kind of mid. Not the best mega ever. Mega Raticate, what is this gonna look like? Yo! Come on! Show me something sick. Normal fighting! It's like the low punny mega. Okay, that is really cool. It still says Beedrill on the left, but. Oh, 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 oh my god! Dude, it reminds me of like that one rat from Ratatouille that's completely oversized. Bro, I love it. That is so cool. I feel like that Pokemon should be really slow, but really like thick and like difficult to kill, but also hit really hard, almost like Snorlax. Let's see, it also has like a little bit of a scorpion tail. Oh, Mega Fiero, this is gonna be so cool. What type is it gonna be? I feel like you can do anything. Oh, it's a mini Moltres, dude. Oh, there's another one. Okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool, too. The fringe on its head kind of reminded me of Pidgeot. 
Ooh, a Mega Arbok. Please have two heads. I don't know why I wanted to have two heads. Oh! Yo! That is sick. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's by far my favorite one so far. If the head is decapitated, which I think can snakes live without a head? I don't know, but either way, that is so cool. By far my favorite one so far. That is so cool. Let's see. It's going to have another um, mega evolution as well. Okay. That one is less cool, I think, but still pretty epic. I mean, it's just a... Uh... Oh, yes. Oh, Mega Raichu. Come on, please be cool, please. I want it to be fighting for some reason. Okay, electric ground. It kind of looks like Diggersby. The feet look like Diggersby. I don't know if I really like that one. Okay, that is also all right. I almost feel like that should be electric fire for some reason. Get some fire vibes. Honestly, not too happy with that ride she wanted. But Mega Sand Slash, this could be sick. I want the spikes to be huge. Ground and steel, okay. That's pretty cool. Please give me Sand Slash height. Why? With huge spikes. They didn't do it. They did. That's a little bit disappointing. Oh my god! Yo! Mega Nido Queen! This, no, this is actually gonna be so sick. It already looks like a mega Pokemon. Yo! It has wings! It has wings! This is my second favorite. I still like the Arbok one more. This one, though? Oh my god, that is so cool. I can't wait to see what Nido King looks like as well. In the other form of, uh, of the Nido Queen. Come on. Okay. That, I feel like, is what the Mega actually should look like if it has one. The other ones are more just, like, fan, like, fun creations. Let's see. Come on. Give me something sick. Nido King is already such a cool design. <laughs> are you kidding me? Yo! That might be the coolest Pokemon I've ever seen. I'm not even kidding. That might be the coolest Pokemon I have ever seen. That is... Insane! Are you serious? Oh my! I that this for whatever reason makes me like Nino King so much more because I feel like it has so much untapped potential. Oh my gosh! That's my favorite one. I like this one than the Arbok one than the Nino the, the the Nino Queen one. Let's see what the other or the Y form looks like now. Okay, this again. I feel like if it actually had a Mega, realistically, this is probably what it would look like. All right, let's see what Mega Clefairy looks like. I hope it has a bunch of spikes. I don't know why. I love spikes. I feel like the more spikes, the better. Pass. That's the first one I'm going to pass on. I cannot get behind that. That one... This one also... I don't know. The head looks so weird. Like, Clefairy... Like, its, it's face is already on its body. Those Clefairy ones... I might have nightmares. I might honestly have nightmares. Let's see what Ninetales looks like, though. Yo! Okay! Okay! That is sick! And it looks like we only got one form for the Nine Tails. I wonder if they're all gonna be one form from now on. That Nine Tails was definitely up there. Okay, that one is cool too. I don't know if I love it, but definitely cool. Also, comment down below which Mega is your favorite Mega out of all of these because I'm very interested. So far, it's gotta be the Nidu King and the Arbok for me. But there, there's, definitely, there's, there's definitely some other ones that are pretty cool. Wait, what happened to the gold bat mega? Wait, what? Is there no megas for these? It is... Ooh! Okay! I never would have thought that I liked Vile Plume ever in my entire Pokemon career. That is pretty cool, though. I like that a lot. That is really cool. It looks like it's going to have a Y form as well. Okay. I like the other one more, but that's still pretty cool. It, it, it grew a little bit. Its legs are long. Got long legs. All right, Parasect might be the biggest L Pokemon ever. Please recover. Not horrible. I do love spikes. And they added a bunch of spikes to it. Okay, that's... Also, I, I don't hate it. I, li I like it. I like it. I mean, bug grass is a terrible typing, but nothing they can do about that. Mega Venomoth. Let's see what this is going to look like. Bug and Ice. Oh, God. Uh, uh, I'm going to throw up. Uh, might be the worst typing ever. Bug Poison. It's just like, if you're a bug Pokemon, it's so hard to be relevant and, like, actually good at the game. 
Oh, 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 Mega Dog Trio. Wait, 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 wait. Please, please, please. Either double or triple the heads. Or have the, the Dog Trio pop out and show me its body and its legs and its arms and its nipples and its body cheeks. Let's see. Come on. Please, 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 please. Not what I was thinking, but very, very cool. Come on. No, dude. No, bro. Are you serious? I mean, it did give me an extra head. That was a letdown, though. There's so many memes that could have come from that. A little bit of a letdown. Okay, normal fire. I was not expecting Persian to become a fire type. I mean, it is like a desert cat, so I guess it makes sense. I feel like they should have gone more, um, like, pharaoh-themed and, like, given it, like, a pharaoh crown, but... Whatever, still pretty cool, still pretty cool. I'm not hating, I'm not hating, I'm not hating. Water flying, yo, that one's cool. That is really cool, I like that one a lot. Mega gold duck, yeah, I mean, that one's I too. I wish that it showed us its stats and its abilities because I always love looking at Pokemon's stats and abilities to see if like they would actually be viable. Oh, Mega Prime! I feel like any Pokemon that you add Steel type to makes it look so cool. Yes! Yes, that is so cool. Well, if you guys didn't know, Primeape actually does now evolve into Annihilate, so I'm, I'm assuming that this video came out before Gen 9 release. So, I would really love to see what a Mega Annihilate would look like. That, that would be really cool. But here we go. Oh, Mega Arcanine! Yes! I feel like this could be so many different things. Okay, fighting, fighting steel. It lost its fire when it was a mono fire type. And now it's just fighting. I feel like they meant to put fire instead of fighting. Cause that just doesn't make any sense to me. Ooh, Mega Polyrath, please give me the Machamp forearms. Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't, no, I hate it. I hate it. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like this either, dude. Uh, it's legs, like, they skeeve me out for some reason. Uh, it's like too human, like. Okay, we already have a Mega Alakazam, so we'll see that. Oh, wait, no! Fire Psychic with a long nose! Yo! Pretty cool. And this is regular Mega Alakazam, which is pretty lit. Gotta love me all the spoons for those Reese Puffs, or Cocoa Puffs. Mega Machamp, give me six arms. Come on, you have to do it. You have to give me six arms. Yes! Yes! That one is sick! Yo, -ho! it has battle armor on. That's one of my favorites so far. And then we have another Mega Machamp. Can't say I'm a big fan of that one. It kind of looks like he, he's doing a superhero cosplay. Mega Victory Bell, let's check this out. Come on. Uh, that's, that's a mid one, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, okay. I like that, the little piranha plants. That's cool. I like the piranha plants on the side. Though, I guess they're little bell sprouts. Oh, Mega Tentacruel. Yes. For, I have high hopes for this one. Come on. Give me something good. Yo! Yes! Yeah, it almost looks like a UFO. That is cool. I like that one a lot. Yes! Oh, it's a whole Kraken. Okay. That one was really cool. I like that one a lot. Mega Golem, give me... I don't even know. Rock Fire, yo! That one is gonna be up there in my favorites. I can't, I'm not gonna make like an actual list, um, but that one's up there. I think the Neo King still probably takes the throne, but that one's up there. I really, really, really did like that Tentacruel one as well. The Kraken one. And the, uh, both Tentacruel ones were sick. Let's see what else we got, though. Okay! I don't know if I like that one. I don't know, that one's a little strange to me. But Ponytail Rapidash, Mega Rapidash, it's just gotta be a flame ball, right? It, the whole thing should just be on fire. Okay, Fire Fairy, I can see that. That's kind of what they did in Ninetales. Like in the actual game, they made it Ice Fairy. And yeah, okay, that, oh, I like this, I get it. It's like a unicorn, unicorn with wings. I like that one, that one's pretty cool. We already do have Mega Slowbro, so. Or Slow King. I don't know. I'm stumped. That is cool, though. 
For some reason, I really like the steel typing. Whenever, yeah, okay, there's the Mega Slow, bro. That's the regular one. But whenever you add this steel typing to a Pokemon, for some reason, I feel like it makes it always look so much cooler. It almost makes it look futuristic. Or it just gives it battle armor. Oh, we get a Magneton one. Dodrio, give me four heads. There has to be four heads. What? Normal rock? Not even flying, and it's a bird. That's crazy. Here we go. Here we go. That one's cool. I like that one. Normal flying. Okay. I don't hate it. Ooh, Mega Dugong. Let's check this out. It's a mermaid. It's a mermaid seal. Ice and fairy type. Interesting. I can't say I love that. And then that one, I don't know. To me, it's just like, okay. That, that I feel like would be like an actual mega that the game would put in. Mega Muck! That rolls off the tongue really well. Mega Muck! Oh! It's got like bones in his arms. That is pretty cool. Poison ghost type. And this one's just straight up poison. I like the Muck ones. The Muck ones are cool. I really like the Muck ones. Mega Cloister. Oh, what is this gonna be? This could be very cool. I don't get it. I don't get what the why does it have like wheezings on its arms? I don't get the reference for that. I was hoping that they would change like the the ball inside, like the pearl, its face, but they don't seem to have done that quite yet. Come on, show me. Ah, mid. I'm sorry, if the person who made this watches, I will say every design is very, very cool. So when I say mid, I don't actually mean like it's not cool. They are all cool. Ooh! Ghost fire, okay. That's pretty lit. And then there's a the regular Mega Gengar. But yeah, I mean, if I say design's mid, I don't actually like dislike it. I'm just comparing it to the other ones that I've seen in this video. And some of them just, to my, in my opinion, I'm not up to par with some of the others. This one's cool. I love the beard or the neck fate hair. I don't even know what that would be called. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they're just kind of turning him into a grandpa and I love it. This dude does not shave at all. He does not care. He lets it all grow. He lets it all hang. Mega Kingler. This could be cool. Yes, dude. They added a steel type to it, which is an amazing typing. So it makes it a much more viable Pokemon to use as well. And water fighting. Okay. I like that too. I feel like Kingler, it makes sense for it to be a fighting type. Because it's got one big claw that just could smash you with. Let's check out Mega Electro. Please be Master Ball. Ooh. Not what I was expecting, but very, very cool. I wanted to make a Master Ball though. Ah. I feel like this should be Psychic type. Electric Psychic. Still, no. Very cool though. It's got like other Pokeballs floating around him. I would like to be a Master Ball, though. That'd be sick. Let's see. Mega! Oh, yes, dude! Its body looks like Ludicolo. It even has all of the, the lily pads, too. Very Ludicolo-y. But I love it because I actually love Ludicolo. It used to be my favorite Pokemon for a very long time. And Executor was in my top five Pokemon of all time as well. I honestly couldn't tell you why, but I love both of them. And this looks like a combination of both of them if they both have Megas and then fuse together. So I like that a lot. That is really cool. Please give me another sick Executor. Mega Executor. Ooh, okay. I, what is going on with the, the eggs though? Like they turn into like choodle heads. I don't understand that. And it's body, the way it's sitting is creeping me out a little bit, but I kind of like it still. It has like dragon eggs as a necklace too. I, I have so many questions, so many questions, but I still think it's cool. Let's see a Mega Marowak. Give me fire. Ooh. <laughs> Okay! Yes! Is this one my favorite so far? Ah, it's gotta be up there. When they add, when this dude adds dragon type, he does not miss. He gets the wings right. He adds like a bunch of dragon features. He's even got the, still the, the giant bone club in his hand. Oh, that, the Mad Marowak is up there. I don't know if it's gonna take my number one slot, but certainly very cool. And the Mega Marowak, why? He just added another bone. So now he's got two bones in his hands. All right, Weezing, give me three heads. Come on, show me the money. Give me the trifecta. Yes! That is sick. That is an A plus from me. I love that one. That one's also pretty cool. Yeah, that one's cool too. I like the other one more though. 
I don't think we're gonna get a Rhydon Mega because there's Rhyperior in the game. Yep, okay. Cedra, same thing with Cedra. We're probably not gonna get a Cedra Mega because, yeah, Sea King is in the game, or King is in the game. But we will get a, a Sea King Mega, I believe. Yes, we are. Water Ice, okay, I, that's not bad. It's pretty cool. I just really dislike when they have a water Pokemon and then add ice to the typing. I feel like it makes it so, it's like an easy thing to do. And ice is such a horrible typing that it's it's rough, it's rough. Okay, Mega Start Me. This could be cool. Ooh! They add this steel type, which I am always a fan of. Very cool. And they, now this time they leave it psychic. Pretty much the same design, but they just make it look psychic -y instead. Oh, okay, there already is a Mega Gyarados, but they'll probably have an alternate form as well. Yo, -ho! okay! That is really cool. I like it. Except I really dislike Water and Ice Pokemon. That combination is terrible. And this is regular Mega Gyarados, which I think is all right. It's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get all the Eevees as well, all the Eeveelutions. Well, I guess the Gen 1 ones. Another Water and Ice Pokemon. Not a fan. We're gonna get to see the legendary bird megas too. And Mew. And Dragonite. Oh my gosh, this is epic. Okay, there's Mega Vaporeon Y. I don't know. I think I may have seen the Eeveelutions already. Some of them at least. This one was one of my favorites when I watched the Eeveelution video. I, I mean, Jolteon, I think, is my favorite Eeveelution already. I really like Jolteon and Sylveon. And Flareon. Flareon's pretty cool. But those are definitely my three favorites. I know a lot of people really like Umbreon. That one is really cool. I like this... This Mega a lot. That's awesome. But yeah, I know... Oh, I forgot about this one. Yes, the Fire Dragon Flareon. That is really cool. Mega Amistar. Give him legs. Give him legs. Oh, I was not expecting that. That is epic. I like that a lot. Okay, and then pretty much the same thing for water type. I like the ghost one more. That was very cool. Kabuto. Kabutops is going to have a really cool mega. I can feel it. Give, make his sights like ginormous, please. Yes, rock and steel. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, that's pretty cool too. I was really hoping that it would make the size like overly ginormous though. Like some anime characters have like enormously giant swords. That's what I was hoping for. But now we get to see Dragonite and everyone has always wanted a Dragonite Mega and that is amazing. That definitely is living up to standards. That is so epic. Here is Eevee. Oh, never mind. We have Vaporeon first. And it's looking like it is evolving into a water ice type, maybe? Let's go, okay. And, yo, that's pretty sick. Water ice, honestly, kinda makes it way worse competitively. Ice is one of the worst defensive typings in the game. Still though, that model is really cool. I am most excited for Jolteon and Sylveon. I don't know why, but those two I'm most excited for. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, we're getting another version, too. Yo! Okay. What is that? This might just be straight up water still. I'm going to guess this is straight. Yeah, I think that this is still just water type. It is. Yes. That is cool. This one is, in my opinion, way cooler than the first one. That one is epic and still probably viable in competitive play. Okay, but next up, our next evolution. Yes, is Jolteon. This is the one that I wanted to see. Come on, baby. Ooh, Electric Ghost? Electric Ghost? Wait, wait, if this is Electric Ghost, first of all, that looks epic. Is there any Electric Ghost Pokemon in the game? I can't think of any. If, is this going to be Electric Ghost? Please tell me. Yo! Yo! Electric Dark! Yes, dude! That is so sick! Oh my gosh, I love it! This is my favorite one so far by far. Electric Dark. There's more Peko. That is Electric Dark. I can't think of any other Electric Dark Pokemon though. For some reason, I was thinking Jolteon would look similar to Mega Manectric just because, wait a second. Whoa, that was crazy. Was that wings? Did it just grow wings? 
Yo! Yo! Okay, I was gonna guess the type of every single one of these, but I can see it in the bottom left, I'm gonna be honest. It just says electric. So this is straight up electric. That thing looks sick though. It kinda, it kinda got like the Ampharos makeover where it just has like a luscious flow now, and I'm very, very jealous. That is so cool though. Oh my gosh. Imagine if Pokemon actually put these into the game. That would be so stinking epic, bro. Oh my god. All right, next up in the evolution line, probably Flareon. Yeah, it's it, it seems like it's going in order from Gen 1 to Gen 7 is I think Gen 7 Gen 6 is that when Sylveon came out? Ooh, fire ghost Fire fire it has to be fire ghost or fire dark. It has to be Yo, that is so sick Oh my gosh, it looks like a like volcano almost because you know volcanoes are really dark and like black But then they erupt and have fire on them. so it looks like he's like like his body is made out of molten And then he just got flames pouring out of him. That is so cool I really wish though that it showed like their stats and abilities and stuff because that would make me have a much better Understanding if they would be good competitively, which is something that I care about a lot. Okay, let's check out Flareon X or Y or X. I forget which one the first one was. Fire flying! Yes, bro! It literally just grew wings! Oh my god! Yo! Oh, it's dragging! Yo! That is so cool! Oh my gosh. That is pretty epic. That might be my favorite one, but I want you guys to comment down below what your favorite custom Mega Evolution is. Mine so far either has to be the Jolteon or that Fire Dragon Flareon. Both of those were super, super cool. But next up, yes, we have Espeon. Next up after this is gonna be Umbreon. I'm excited for the Umbreon one too. This one is probably gonna be still psychic maybe psychic fairy i think it's gonna be straight up psychic though surely oh it is psychic fairy okay i respect it that's pretty cool all right let's see what the other form is going to be whoa it's tail changed a lot okay this one might still just be straight up psychic i know it's said that for the last one but i don't know what other type that this would be yeah okay it is just psychic Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I like the first one a lot more. This one is kind of weird. They kind of just gave him like pigtails, like the hairstyle. And it's coming out of its ears. Like, I feel like you should almost shave that. Like, why is there so much hair coming out of your ears? It's almost gross. Anyway, next up, we have Umbreon. Let's go, I'm excited for this. Please give me Ghost. Give me Dark and Ghost. This looks like it's gonna be just dark still. This is definitely gonna be still just dark, which is fine. Which is fine. You can still... Dark Dragon? Okay. The Godslord type? Yo. I mean, I don't know if I'm seeing that much dragon in this, though. I mean, it has wings, but I don't know. I think that this should just still just be dark, to be honest with you. Still pretty epic, though. I think that's pretty cool. But please, give me Dark Ghost. Dark Ghost. Yes. Oh, maybe not. Dark Electric? Dark Electric? Question mark? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think that this is going to be? I, I guess Dark Electric because it's yellow. Fairy? I'm going to be honest. I don't see the fairy at all. Like, it still has red eyeballs and it's still very dark. But I think the model looks really cool. I'm definitely giving an A plus for the model. I just don't see the dark fairy. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being stupid. All right, but well, let's go. What is next? Uh, Leafeon. Yes, dude. I feel like Leafeon will look great with some ghost elements. I don't know why I want him to keep adding ghosts to these. So far, I feel like it hasn't changed at all. Okay. This has to be just be still grass type. Grass ground. Respectable, respectable. I don't know if I love this one, though, I'm gonna be honest. It's just kind of like, eh. It kind of just looks like Leafeon's older brother. But it looks like this should be able to evolve again, you know? Like, this doesn't look like a final stage to me. I don't know why. It's just like, eh, it's okay. But let's see, maybe this next form it's going to impress me. So far, the first one, not so much. Grass Fairy? It looks like it has, like, flowers on it. Oh, that's definitely Grass Fairy. Yo! Okay. All right, that was, that was pretty cool. All right, come on, give me Glaceon. Yeah. Okay, Ice is such a bad typing. You're gonna have to give it some crazy good second typing to make this thing viable. Maybe Steel type? It looks like it's still gonna be just ice type, which is also fine. Ice water. Why do you love ice water so much, bro? Come on! 
Give me ice steel. Ice steel would be cool. This also still looks like straight up ice. Ooh, ooh, I love the tail though. Yo, wait, it kind of looks like Vulpix a little bit, or like Nine Tails. Like, it looks a little bit like Alolan Nine Tails. Anyone else getting that vibe, or is that just me? That's pretty dope, though. I really like the tail on it. This one's definitely my favorite out of the two. Okay, and what else? What even else is there? There's Sylveon. Oh, Sylveon. I think that this is the last one. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Give me fairy fighting. That'd be sick. Fairy flying? Did I see wings? I think I'm seeing wings. I think I'm seeing wings. Oh, baby, give me fairy and flying. Give me the Togekiss. Give me the Togekiss typing. Yes, sir. That one is sick. I love it. All right, come on. I really want fairy fighting. I don't think he's going to do it, though. This is probably just going to be straight up fairy, I think. Yeah, probably still fairy. Unless I was thinking maybe he's adding water to it because I saw some extra blues, but I don't see any like gills or fins or anything. Oh, wait, maybe here. Maybe like right here. Are those fins? I don't think so. I'm still going to guess that it's just fairy. Yeah. I do like that, though. It's pretty cool. My favorite out of all of them was either the Jolteon or the Flareon. Both of them were super epic. But I want you guys to comment down below which Mega Evolution was your favorite. While you're down there, feel free to go ahead and leave a like. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click right here to watch another epic one.